How's it going guys and welcome back to another Godot video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make transitions in Godot. So with that said, let's get started. Now we're going to start by creating a brand new scene for our transition because we want to actually switch to that because we want to actually put that like transition scene on top of the current scene and then switch to the other one. I'll show you in just a moment. So with that said, I'll just add a normal 2D scene and I'll add a, a color rectangle to it. I'll just make a basic transition. And I'll go ahead and expand it to become the size of the window. All right, now we can go ahead and adjust the color. So let's say we want a fade in, fade out animation. I'm going to do a simple one. We just do a black color, as you can see. And we go ahead and set the alpha value here all the way down to zero because we want it to start off like that. Now we go ahead and make a brand new animation node. And then we go ahead and create a brand new animation. We're going to call that fade. And we can make this so that it starts on the alpha value here, like this. We're going to keyframe that. Select create. We can go ahead and change the animation length to 0 0.5. And then we can go here to the last thing. We can go to the alpha value and adjust it all the way up. And go ahead and keyframe that. So we should have this right here. A transition starts as a normal transparent rectangle. And then switches to that. Now there's actually multiple ways to go about doing this. But I like go ahead and do... The second animation here, fade underscore two. So what we actually do here is that we basically do the reverse of the first animation. Animation, so 0 0.5, and then we go to the color rectangle and we pin our black value here like this, starting from the basically previous um, animation here, and then at the end here you go ahead and pin the alpha value back here. So the first one should look a little bit like this and the second one should look like this. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to actually create the script for playing the animation. So we want to go ahead and create a brand new script. We can call it transition. Now before we actually get to making the transition we need to make sure that we are able to access the animation everywhere. So what we're going to do is actually first we're going to save the scene in our scenes here and we can go ahead and go to our project here, project settings, go to auto load and then go to this folder icon here, go to scenes, select your transition scene here and go ahead and open it up. Go ahead and click add. And what this should do is that it should make this scene accessible anywhere so that we can always run the function of the transition. So that's how we can get started by making the actual rectangle invisible here. And first we can go ahead and actually define these nodes here in the top of our program. And you basically go ahead and create a variable and drag your node into here. You need to put the on ready keyword here so that it just basically prepares them for you to use. So now what you want to do is you want to make it so that the rectangle is invisible. So we're going to set the rectangle dot visible is equal to false. So now what we want to do is we want to actually add two functions. We want to add a function that essentially plays the transition and another one that finishes the transition. Now for the first one, we can just call it a uh, function transition and what this is going to do is that it's basically going to make the rectangle visible and then what we want to do is we want to actually play the animation so we're going to do anim dot play or basically this variable name here and we want to play the first fade animation which basically turns the screen black now the next thing we want to do is we want to actually add a signal here in the animation player go to node and we want the animation finished go ahead and connect that and there you go what we should do here now is that we can have a if statement that actually checks which animation is done. So if our animation name, which is this right here, basically detects which one is finished, is equal to our fade animation. So we've already played our fade animation. Now what do we do? Well, now what we want to do is we want to actually create a brand new custom signal here that signals when our first fade animation has finished so that we can actually change to the next scene. So what we're going to do is signal on transition finish. And basically, if we finish our fade animation, the first thing we want to do is we want to emit that. So on transition finish dot emit. There we go. And then we want to go ahead and play our second animation. So animation dot play. And we want to play our second fade animation. Now, if we are on our second fade animation, so if our animation name is equal to our second fade animation, then what we do is we just make the rectangle invisible since we have finished all the animations and we're right now at the next scene. So this should be it. Now, back at our portal thing here that basically makes us go from level to another, 
what we're going to do is we're going to first refer to the node thing here and you can actually get the name here since it is different by going back to the auto load it should yep there we go see there's the capitalization thing it is case sensitive so it is node 2d should probably make it a better name but this will do for now so node 2d there we go as you can see it recognizes it and now we can do dot transition since it is a function in our node thing here so as you can see node 2d basically the uh c name that's what we reference dot transition which is this function right here we start by playing the fade animation and then what we do is after that we go ahead and await the signal to finish basically the signal that says that our fade animation the first fade animation has finished so what we do now is we go ahead and await and await is basically used to wait for a certain signal to be emitted so we do await node 2d just like this one right here dot and then we want to do the signal that we've just defined so right here on transition finished we want to wait that and after this has happened so basically our first fade first fade animation has played and our screen has went black now we change to the second world scene so let's go ahead and test this out so it shouldn't apply to this one here so as you can see this is still instant you can apply it anywhere it's basically the same system but now if we wait for the platform there we go it fades in and out and it does look like i've made a tiny spelling mistake here so yeah we should, we should be fine now so if we go ahead and click play and we head to the platform area the portal as you can see there we go we have our fade thing of course we do have this issue of the portal appearing in front of this thing and this can be easily fixed by essentially increasing the layer of this thing the z layer so going to ordering and basically increasing that however much you want probably something like 10 or something absurd like that because you want to make sure it covers literally everything so now as you can see if we go here we go on top of the portal as you can see the transition works perfectly fine and if you want to add this transition literally anywhere in your code all you have to do is just copy that and then go to wherever you want to add it so let's say we want to add it in our play button here we go ahead and paste that here and it should work exactly the same as you can see click play and the transition plays as well there we go. That was an easy way to add transitions. And if you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below any specific topic you would like covered. And I'll see you guys in the next video.